Hello, 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 it's Anna with you and it's Monday today, the last week of the PC, day 22. Um, and I just came back home, made some tea. And basically I really forgot that I just the last week I think the last week I think I didn't mention when I come to school and when I come back, how many hours did I work. But basically it's almost the same. It's from nine to nine. Sometimes I come earlier, sometimes I leave earlier. Um, today, for example, I came very late because I needed to wash my clothes. I don't have a washing machine at my apartment that I rent. Um, and so the laverie, it's the, I don't know, it's the place where you could, there are plenty of washing machines and you could wash your clothes. Um, it's it works just the levery near mm, the place where I live. They work th from seven to um, to nine thirty p.m. from seven a.m. to nine thirty p.m. And so most of the time I come later than nine thirty. So I couldn't wash my clothes at night, and so I need to do it in the morning. So basically, what I did today, and that's why because I. Uh, wake woke up at seven. I needed to sleep a little bit more because yesterday I came at twelve, almost at midnight, and I needed some sl <laughs> good sleep. So and it's, I don't know one hour for washing clothes, coming back, uh, making breakfast, and then coming to school. And it ended up that I was at school at maybe ten thirty, something like that. So today wasn't quite progressive but I all I finished the C08 project uh, but didn't submit it because like it's always when I do it after when I finish the project after lunch I think that my brain is not that very attentive and sometimes I make like stupid mistakes so tomorrow I'm gonna test it again I'm gonna verify again everything and then just submit it I also almost finished the minimum of C07, but the thing is that like the last exercise that you have to make um, in order to um, yeah pass the bare minimum, the bare minimum, um, it works. But the thing is that sometimes in certain cases there is a segmentation fault that it means that uh, when they compile the file, there is not enough memory to run the program, and I don't know what's the mistake really I asked some people to look at my code and they don't really know because they made it differently and my teammate with whom I worked two days ago uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday he just simply gave me his code and told me like uh, try to understand what's wrong with your code by reading my code I said okay thank you <laughs> and yeah just I think like after filming this video I'm gonna I'm gonna try to understand what's wrong with my code. As I told you yesterday, um, I subscribed. I was very, very, st it was very, very, st maybe stupid choice, maybe not. We're gonna see it in a couple of days if we're gonna finish it or not. I subscribed to the group, another group project, which is even, even more difficult than the Rush Zero Two. It's BSQ project and here you could create your own team but it's the team of two persons persons you and your teammate and you're gonna yeah you're gonna write a program which is in the exercise and it's like it's really more difficult uh, and I I'm gonna do it with my friend um, and we'll see how it goes Basically, he's doing the PC the second time, so he's like he has more competence than me. And besides, he like has some friends who are gonna help him as well. And we'll see how it goes because we are not like two people working on that project. Basically, we are like asking other teams to help us. And I hope, I hope, I really hope that we're gonna gonna make it because it's like it's very important for him. Because it his it's his retry, and if he manages to um, do this project, it means that he he's like he progressed more than the previous time. And I couldn't really say, "Oh, sorry, just I want to work on my projects." No, 
just we decided tomorrow we, by by lunch i think we're gonna finish everything with our project and we're gonna really concentrate on that group project uh for yeah for tomorrow and for the day after tomorrow because the submission date is the day after tomorrow so we have basically three days but today we just understood the exercise we had we had some ideas how to do it but the step between having the idea and implementing that idea in your code and creating and writing the program there is like a huge huge gap between the steps but still we progressed by understanding the task that's good and just i talked to other guys who did subscribe for the project and didn't and the part who didn't subscribe told me like i knew they knew that it's going to be very difficult and they don't have enough competence to to finish it and so they just decided not to waste time on doing something that's not going to work and that's not going to give them points not going to give them anything um yeah and it's better to concentrate on your own projects but on the other side the other side is that okay let's subscribe and we'll see maybe it's not going to be that difficult as it seems and maybe it's going to be a really easy and if you didn't subscribe you're not going to get points you're not going to yeah progress in in by that task and on top of that like if you manage to do this project when you are doing this project you are yeah you are learning so much you are trying to create the very complicated algorithm you are learning a bunch of things to to make it go that's it so and it's the basically it's one of the aim of the piscine is just to learn very very fast in very just short period of time i don't know just right now i'm feeling like something in between if i made the right choice or the wrong choice we'll see in three days if i'm gonna pass it and, but it's fun and it's really like great to work with my friend um and i hope that he's not like thinking that oh shit she's stupid and she's not gonna do anything oof yeah that's hard and what else I didn't wa ah yeah and today I talked with guys and they told me like oh we are dreaming of, of we're dreaming about code it's really like when you are sleeping and the code there are some dreams of code of coding I don't know it happened to me once because basically you are doing nothing but coding but learning how to code and that's that's yeah that's obviously <laughs> you have some dreams of code and some other news uh as i told you there are international people here like me i'm international there are only english speaking people american there is one american guy there are a british girl there is a girl from brazil there are some spanish speaking yeah there is a some guys from spain and i don't know many maybe from some other countries and the thing is that like it's sometimes it's quite difficult for them if they are not fluent in French to communicate with French people who are not fluent in English and in some organizational things then they write only in French and do not translate in English and today I met girls uh, you have the girl from the South Korea and from Brazil and they were speaking to the director of the school it's the woman um, it's a shame I don't remember her name but uh, they really discussed this some kind of she asked them to uh, give her the feedback about how international students feel here at school what they need to improve maybe some suggestions and something like that um, me I'm not gonna just I don't have a um, something to say because I understand French I communicate in French with French so basically I don't have any problems uh, concerning this kind of thing but I think that if you don't speak French you kind of you might have some troubles so and it's cool that the the director she really wants to have the feedback she also made some um, tea time meetings with girls how girls feel at school and what things what they can improve in order to 
uh, to make the atmosphere of the piscine better. And yeah, it's it's really cool thing. Yeah, that's what happened today. That's I wanted to tell you to share you with to share with you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and um, being with me on this journey of the piscine of this experience. I'll see you tomorrow and tell you what's happening tomorrow. Bye, bisous.